Do not worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Now these words are beautiful, but they can seem difficult to hear in a time such as this, when we are so surrounded by news of violence and destruction. It can seem to us like it's a luxury that we can't afford to not worry about anything and to spend our time in prayer and supplication and thanksgiving with God. But nothing could be further from the truth. We don't end war by dwelling on war. We don't end war by being paralyzed in grief and fear. We don't end war by dwelling on who is to blame for all the violence and destruction around us. We end war by dwelling on peace. We end war by having worry-free and thankful hearts that pray for peace. We end war by actively doing the things that make for peace. And above all, we end war by ever more deeply cultivating our personal relationship with Christ Jesus, in whom a peace that surpasses all understanding is available to us. It may be counterintuitive, but today's instructions from Philippians are actually the blueprint for exactly how we should behave in a time such as this. Love, joy, and peace that come through our devotion to Christ Jesus are not simply desirable, they are actually our duty. So let's get about performing our duty and see how the peace that surpasses all understanding will envelop not only us, but an entire world.